This is my box. Now what I'm going to do on this is uh, I put down this plastic and it's made just like a, a corrugated uh, cardboard. It has little ridges. You can see the ridges that run up through there. So I'm putting that just slightly above above my output here where the, the heat will be and I cut it off short down here. So any heat in the box I'm hoping will, you know, make its way up through the channels and up into there and maybe help it a little bit. Now to drill my cans, I found that I like a step bit. It seems to work pretty good. I'm just put it in there. I found one of these uh insulator thing works good and you just stick your can down in there and you can drill you three little holes like that and once you line them all up they're all different so the air would have to to flow. I think that's a little better than the fins. You know, I'm not sure. Now what I'm using is this uh, high heat mortar for my ceiling and to put my cans together. This is how I do it here. Take your bead, go around your can, just set it on there. finger and run around the edge a little bit. And just keep doing that. After I got all my cans glued, I just took a piece of gutter and I got styrofoam to help me keep my cans straight. Put that in there. And that holds my cans tight. Once they're in there straight, just push down, just a little bit of weight on it, like I've seen them do, and let it dry. There's all my cans. There, I mounted my thermostat, and uh, I've got it hooked to a meter here. And we'll give it a little heat and see if it works. piece of edging. This is for paneling. I found it up at Lowe's. It seems to work okay. I'm just going to staple it on here. That way your plastic should fit right under in them grooves there. Alright, here's my box. I'm going to test it out here. I've had it out here about 15 minutes. It's actually pretty warm today. I got a solar cell. Uh, my um, my thermostat just kicked in at 109 degrees. If you look up there, it's at 109. And the incoming, you can see that, it's about 57.2. Everything seems to be working good. We'll see how high it's going to go, and um, we don't get we don't get full sun here. It comes has to come through the trees. I don't know if you can see it right there, but all, it tracks across the sky about like that. So it seems like it's doing doing better than I thought it would. This quick. Okay, it's been about just 20 minutes, and. As you can see, it's already up to 125. That's wild. That is amazing. 
the other camp is about 57. All right, it clouded up on me. Uh, I think it's supposed to rain later. But even with the clouds, it's at even with the clouds, it's at 85. And this thing has a max on it, so if I hit the max, so we got up to uh, 128.7. That was cool. Okay, I um, mounted my unit, and I decided to mount it right on my door to our little workshop area. It was like paying glass so I could knock the glass out. And I put a solar panel, one right there, and I got another one right there. And they're going to charge the battery. And this is the inside of the door. And there is my cold air. And up top is my hot air. And I've mounted my uh, temperature gauge. And over here I have my uh, battery box. And the uh, flashing LED means the uh, battery's being charged. Right here I just have my motor mounted to pull my cold air in. Okay, here's my um, battery box. And I just have the, um, the solar panels will charge the battery, you know, plus power the motor. Because being here in the woods, um, it's, it's not going to have full, full power on that motor. So I want the, it to be able to run when it, whenever it runs. So the thermostat should kick the motor on, and that will take uh, power from the battery so it'll be running at full speed and be more efficient. And then when it's not, even like today, it's cloudy right now, we're still getting charge on it. And also I put this little switch, this is just a shunt, so I can actually turn the motor on if I want to anytime. And you can hear it probably. And that's about it. And um, I'll keep you updated on what the temperature is, but so far, a couple days we've had, it's it's got up to 125. I haven't seen nothing higher, and I don't know if that was full sun because I had to work. But anyways, it was fun to do, and I'm uh, going to get ready and start uh, working on another one. Thanks for watching.